all right everybody welcome to the first video of my youtube channel and the first video in the crusade workshop playlist as a first video i decided to go with how to paint the mainstay of any black templar's force in crusader squads all right step one for painting our crusaders will be the base coat and all you need for this is pretty simple is just a matte black spray paint personally i used army painter matte black and that's given me very good results all right now that we have our base coat down we're going to need to get some metallic gold paint for the majority of the secondary color of the model i use this all over my models and it adds a pretty good contrast to the uh, matte black that we just sprayed for this i use uh, army painter again greedy gold all right so when you start off with the gold obviously you want to get a fine ish tip paintbrush and i start with the shoulder pads and i use mark three armor on my templars because i like the way it looks and uh so i start with the shoulder pads most most of the time and you know you just have to go over i use i use it as a trim instead of the standard black that most people will paint for there so you want to make sure that you go around and get all those little awkward nooks and crannies having a nice fine brush is really key to this The second thing that I work on is the faceplate. Again, contrast. And I sort of just, uh, with like a little bit of paint on my brush, I will just sort of drag it over the grill so I don't get it into the uh, eye sockets or the face grill, uh, giving you a nice place to have some contrast there on the face itself. Uh, Mark III also has that little ring around the head that I also paint gold for a little accent. doing the other shoulder pad now and one of the problems with well not problems but one of the tedious bits of the mark 3 armor that we have is all the little rivets and sort of lips on the side of the armor you'll see me start to work on it in a second here for my basic infantry and all that stuff, I don't really do the rivets. I sort of will just, uh, you know, let, leave them be and the washes will pick them out enough to where they stand out. I also do um, all the weapons cases. So you'll see as I go along this model here, I don't paint the whole bolter for bolt pistol, chain sword, whatever it may be. I don't paint the whole thing gold. I sort of just do like the case of it. So like. In the older editions, we had red bolters, like all everybody painted their bolter cases red. And then on, on some of the newer artwork, the Imperial Fist have like black bolter cases. I'm a sucker for shiny, so gold is my go-to, especially for this stuff. And then when you're painting stuff with like a magazine in it, like this, these bolters have, you have to make sure to get the exposed shells casings there. And this is what I was talking about earlier, these sort of small little detailed lips are probably the most tedious part of this whole thing obviously if you're playing primaris or mark 7 marines this won't be as much of an issue for you like i said i love mark 3 and you know this is the price that i pay for it but again once it, once it's all washed out and uh put together these things look really good and in, in my opinion of course You have to make sure that you go through, to check and double check, make sure you get all of the little armor segments because uh, Mark III is a very segmented armor. Uh, like I said earlier, I get the cases of every, all the weapons. So like, if you look at my army, all the guys that have uh, chainsword bolt pistols, like the little casing on the bolt pistol will be all gold. The chainsword will be all gold. For the power swords and all that stuff, like the... Uh, the hilt and the 
Um, cross guard will be gold. Same thing with power axes, like the center pieces would be gold. Uh, and um, you can't see it here because I knocked my camera out of the way and can't really see what I'm doing right now. But the ring around the neck uh, with Mark III has that uh, like uh, rivets as well. So I paint that gold as well. Yeah, you can sort of see it there. Yep, that's that. Now I'm just going to run through and, you know, quickly do the same thing that I just showed you with all six more of the basic Volter Marines. All right, so for step three, we are going to use our silver. I used Army Painter Plate Mail Metal. And we are going to go over the parts of the weapons that we didn't hit with the gold and some of the smaller details like chains and such. I'm using the same brush here as I did for the gold because it fits the purpose pretty nicely. And it's sort of like, it's not a dry brush, but it is pretty freaking close just because of the small area of the silver bits on this model and you kind of just want to get a good solid color on it work your way up from a very light dusting to a full-blown covering and if it a little bit shows through like a little bit of the black shows through that's okay uh, once it goes gets washed it will uh, look a little bit better I'm also hitting the uh, vents in the backpack as well as the pipes leading to it. And for those you could probably just hit it with a good dry brush and it will look just fine. Like we did with the bolter, we're also going to hit the teeth of the chainsword and the motor housing down at the base there. It sort of gets cut off in this video because I knocked my camera around, but you can see it there, like right where my paintbrush is pointing. And then I'm just going to do the same thing with the rest of the Bolter Marines here. Now this is a quick little step uh, for our Reds. I used Master Series Paint Heraldic Red. And I usually use this just for the eye lenses and any small details if you need like a nice deep red. I did also switch to a finer brush uh, to get into the eye lenses of the Marines. You can barely see it on the camera here. And then how I actually go about painting it is I put a dot very carefully in the center of the islands or as close as I can to it and I drag it towards the edges. I 
also used it on the tabard of this marine as well. You can't really see it there, but he has the uh, Black Templar upgrade sprue tabard with the um, the two ribbons coming down it, and I used the red for that as well. You could also wait until after you paint the tabard to do this as well. It might be a little bit easier for you at that point. Then I basically just do the same thing for the other six Marines. All right, so now we're going to move into the white or bone, depending on your preference here. Uh, the only difference between what I do and what some people that I've seen or what the generic Black Templars look like is I use a bone for my shoulder pads, whereas most people use white. And if that's the case, if that's what you want to do, I would just recommend going over with a pure white after this step with this, uh, with the bone. <clears throat> For this, I just, I use the bigger brush for this as well, like more like a base coat brush because of the large area of the shoulder pads. And I sort of just dabbed a dot in the middle and then pushed it out towards the edges. Slowly sort of getting into all the little nooks and crannies right up against the trim. And the way that I paint mine are kind of down and dirty and busted up a little bit, so having a little bit of shine through of the black is all right. Because like I said earlier with the red and the silver, is once it's washed out, it'll all tie together and look kind of dusty and, you know, dirty. And it'll tie it all together well, really nicely.
And there you go, the finished shoulder pads. And like I said, I do mine a little bit different than, the, than how you would like yours probably. Um, and you know, feel free to take any of these tips and bend it to the way that you like it. Because at the end of the day, these are your models, your paint scheme. These are just suggestions and this is how I paint mine. So if you prefer white to a bone, then do white. If you want silver instead of gold, then do silver. Live your best life. Purple instead of red, go crazy. It's your hobby, enjoy it the way you want it. These are just suggestions and the way that I enjoy painting my troops. All right, so step six is going to be touch-ups where we go back and we fix any mistakes that we may have made along the way. So any of the gold or white or red that may have popped up and over where you wanted it, uh, you just go back and you paint over it with your matte black uh, paint. I luckily have I luckily have the same uh, paint brush on that I do for my base coat, so this works out pretty well for me, and it's pretty easy. Now, if it's not black, it's the same rules. Basically, you just go back over and with black and then just repaint whatever it was so like if you got red on your gold faceplate or something like that or white on your gold uh just paint that section over black again and then just follow the same steps that we did earlier to re-achieve that same color and blend it in with the rest of your model and this is, could be a very tedious step or a very quick step depending on how neat you were on the first go around. For me, it was pretty quick. All right, and the final step is the wash. And I used uh, Citadel Nuln Oil, and that, you know, there's a lot of memes around there making jokes about Nuln Oil users and that's all that, but to be completely honest, it makes your paint job look amazing for a pretty simple thing. And Duncan is cursing my name, but with this, I do one very thick coat. And, you know, then I'll go back with a dry brush and sort of flick away the pools and sort of even it out so it doesn't pool in odd, odd shapes and stuff. And it gives it a very high contrast uh, look to it and I really enjoy that and it sort of gives it that layer of grime and dirt so uh, with these ones here they didn't turn out so grimy like my uh, previous Crusader squads that I've painted uh, and I think I just need to go back over with a few more layers of this wash and you know depending on how dirty or how contrasty you want your models to be you can go over once twice 70 times with this wash and honestly it won't really damage your paint job all that much unless you like let it pool in the lower recesses too much so yeah i just go over the entirety of the model because um when you put the null oil over the black like that you can't see it when it's wet but once it dries out it sort of gives it a chalky or dusty uh gray look and you'll see it in the final pictures of my other squads as well And if you leave the uh, wash to sort of pool, pool over the golden bits of your model, you get sort of a cool uh, patinaing effect where you have, you know, the same color but like lighter and darker and shadow and not so shadowed. And it looks really cool, I think, especially with this paint scheme because gold is sort of the secondary color and your eye, it gets drawn to it because it's so shiny and bright compared to the majority of the model. So yeah, just make sure that you get all of this wash into the nooks and crannies of the model make sure you don't leave any like stark white 
shoulder pads left out or anything like that. Make sure you get the, all the gold bits. Because if, if you wash like 90% of the model and you have this little uh, dry spot, then you're going to have a very blatant mistake almost in your look. So if you miss a spot on the first pass, just go back with it again once everything dries and you can see where it's settled and where it you know, needs work. And, you know, you can touch it up from there. Here are some pictures of other Crusader squads that I've painted in the exact same way with varying levels of the final wash. One coat, two coat, three coat, etc. Hey guys, thank you for watching my quick tutorial on how I paint my Crusader squads. Be sure to subscribe and comment on this video if you have any questions or suggestions. Uh, follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Dark Stars Crusade. And the bigger that my channel gets, the more I could afford to give you guys giveaways and merchandise and all that stuff. So please uh, share me with your friends. Uh, let's grow this channel together so I can give back to you guys more well that's all i got for today i hope you enjoyed this video and uh i will see you